My biggest concern is the time and money. Mostly time because I'm gonna have to spend time to get all the ingredients to make it zero waste and money. I don't know how much these things cost. Maybe they're too expensive. And I'm just trying to make comfort mac and cheese so I could watch Grey's Anatomy in my nightgown. Zero, 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 zero waste. I'm gonna try to make mac and cheese with zero trash. Sustainable! We're gonna be sustainable! Yes! Is this sustainable? <laughs> I think I think it is sustainable. I usually get my ingredients from Trader Joe's and Ralph's and I can promise they all come in plastic. So this is what I would normally buy? And I added it up and it's $35.83. Okay, that's not too crazy for all the amount of fancy cheeses I got. Yeah, so we'll see how our zero waste version stacks up in terms of price. Yeah. Let's go do the zero waste shopping now. All right, zero waste. Okay, so let's start in the bulk aisle. Yeah, there's a bulk plate? Yeah. We need pasta, we need salt, we need cheese, we need milk, and breadcrumbs, so we need bread. Here, there's salt. There's salt? Okay. Yes. Sea salt. Do you want the Himalayan salt or the sea salt? I'll get bougie on you. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a bag. Show this for my mom. She's finally gonna say I'm fully a California girl. There's the tear weight of the bag, so then okay. you don't get charged for the cost of the weight of the bag. Should we get some candy? Yeah, let's, let's, get, get, let's some, get some candy. Let's get some candy in bulk. Which candy do you want? Let's get the malt balls. Malt balls? That, seems fun. that sounds good. That does sound fun. It sounds like we're gonna go to the movies or something. Yeah, let's go to the movies. I have seen pasta in bulk at some places, but it's like very specialized stores. Mm. So I think we're just gonna have to see what we can get that has the least plastic packaging. Do you like shells for your mac and cheese? Yeah, I think we'll do shells. We can recycle the paper and then we can trash the plastic. Okay, so the next item we need is milk. Okay, here we got some milk in a glass container. Mm -hmm. So this is great because when you're done with it, you can take it back and they give you a dollar back for the bottle. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's Forget like, and they dollars. reuse it, too. Oh, wow. So next up is the bread. From bread to bread. I am so stoked that we found some bread package free. You know how rare that is? So we need butter. You can't get butter zero waste. We'd have to like get the cream and like churn it ourselves to make the butter, which we're not going to do. How do you do. churn butter? What we can do, though, is choose butter that has less packaging. So I'm going with unsalted butter. Because I already have the Himalayan salt, which is a very strong salt, just like me. You survived your first uh, zero waste grocery shopping history. <laughs> it can be a little hectic sometimes because yeah. you're like trying to get the weight the of the amount. Yeah, the, the weight of the bag deducted and everything. And like so I always get a little stressed out. <laughs> Every time I buy chocolate at the store, I immediately want to eat it. Look at I'm like <laughs> Want wine and cheese. Can I bring my own container? Yeah, I'm zero waste, baby. Thank you. So we're gonna get some wine and cheese, like Parisian princesses. Here's our cheese star. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yes, <laughs> a photo moment. Oh, ooh, 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 put the booty in the air, ooh. <laughs> Here's some cheeses, look at, over here. <gasps> Is it okay if you put our cheese in this? Ooh, we get to sample? Oh, Try. yes. Oh. Now oh. that's a Gouda, baby. Please, sir. Please, sir. Can you hand me my cheese? Thank right. you. As you can see, I have a deep love affair with the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good. Cheese dance. Yeah, this is my new favorite chop. <laughs> okay, yeah, just cut it, just cut it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's just like my child's like, I was in the waiting room. <laughs> Look, she's getting weighed. Oh, how many ounces is this? <laughs> Growing up as a kid, my mom worked a lot, so me and my sisters, we would take nights for cooking dinner for everyone. And my favorite was always mac and cheese. And I'm not saying I perfected the mac and cheese, but God dang it, I'm very close. It's a mixture of two great recipes, and what makes it great is the two women that influenced me. The first one is my mother. She makes a traditional Haitian mac and cheese where the crust is hard as hell, but the middle is gooey and delicious. And also, I had a bus driver in middle school when I was getting bullied, and she became one of my closest friends. And she gave me her recipe. Welcome to my kitchen. We're gonna make you mac and cheese. Ari's gonna be my sous chef. I'm not a tasty chef. Every time we do these cooking videos, you guys roast me. I'm a regular schmegler 23 year old who literally just survives and makes dishes for her hoes in the dinner party. We're waiting for it to boil so that I could put 
my word that I can't pronounce. Conchilege. I'm not Italian, I, I couldn't tell you. Maybe we're just all Italian in our hearts. The first thing I need you to do, Ari, I'm gonna get you a cooking board. Can you please cut these into two halves? I put a little bit of ranch on it. Cool. And then I put in the oven. The next thing we're gonna do is make the cheese sauce. We're gonna open this bougie milk. Can I help you cut the cheese? Yes. Always put butter. If you think it's not enough butter, it's not enough butter. There's no measurements, this is not tasty. You just feel how much butter you'll need, okay? This is boiling. It's time to drop that pasta in. This is when we get the gouda out. Oh, let's make a little waste jar. The first waste is the wax from the cheese. Do you want the skin of the brie? Can you eat the skin of the brie? You can. Then drop it in. How many slices of provolone? Just like one, maybe. The mozzarella. We're just gonna let this melt and get nice and thick. So then we have a dance party. To the sounds of the pasta noise? <laughs> Yes. What about that bread? Is it burnt? Oh, sh Oh, we're good. Okay. That looks nice and crispy, though. It does. It looks perfect. I'm double stirring. Ooh, a little nasty. That's what they call me. Look at all that crumbing going on. Yeah, that's a lumpy We like it lumpy, though. We like it lumpy. So I'm just going to pour it all over here. It looks nice and goopy. We're mixing it up just to let the cheese disperse. Oh, you're going to layer more cheese. Mm -hmm. Ooh. We're crumbing it up. Then we bake her. Where did those paper towels come from? Oh, I just used them. Did you just them. use them? We gotta put in our waste pile. Okay, that's just the human error. It's a learning process. That is true. It's, the, waste, journey it's the journey to zero waste. Is it ready? Ooh! Looks good. She ready, baby. We made two batches with all of the ingredients. Yummy. So let's set the table, young lady. You ready to try this? I am. Okay. Tell me what you think. Of it my... looks so good. Zero waste pasta. Mmm. 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 You can tell that there are real cheeses and it's yeah. not some box cheese mix. Does this taste like your usual mac and cheese? No, it tastes way better. Really? Oh my god. Like how much better? Mm, I'm about to surprise my next cookout with this mac and cheese, honey. So when we added up everything in the store that you would normally buy, mm -hmm. it was $35.83. But her zero waste version was $35.68. Wow. So 15 cents cheaper. I love that. So zero waste wins on money this time, but we lost on time. Yeah. Because we had to go to two different places. The trash we made mm -hmm. was some cheese wax. This pasta container, which is actually lined with plastic, so it has to go to landfill because it's a mixed material. Some paper towels we accidentally used. Yeah. And then also the butter container, which we're still using the butter, but then once that's over, we throw it away. Anyway, this is actually yeah. really surprising. I would have made way more mess my older way. Would you make mac and cheese in this way again? Like, do you think in your lifestyle, you'd have time to like go to two different places and all that? Definitely. Really? I think finding local businesses and supporting local businesses is the way for me. Mm -hmm. Definitely converted me to going to cheese shops. Thank you so much for watching. Tell me what you think in the comments. Next week, I'm gonna make my skincare routine zero waste. I know she's a player, y'all. I already know. You're the player. Just because you want to save the earth don't mean you don't want to stop your hose. What does stopping the hose entail? I don't know, but you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I know.